Um, hello, my name is David, and I will be playing now Infiltrating, I mean, sorry, different game, Escaping the Prison. I know you might see this, but this is my version of it. And this is just him, and how long has he been in prison? Thirty-five days. He's been he's been here for thirty-five days. Okay, now let's get into the game. Oh, you! You're free to go. <laughs> Not really, but you've got a package. Don't get your hopes up. We've already checked if anything useful, haven't we, Dave? What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, I checked it. I mean, if I didn't check it, I'd lose my job. I don't want to lose my job. Yay, cake. What's inside the cake? Okay, so we have the options of a file, NRG drink, teleporter, a drill, or cell phone, or a rocket launcher. I'm going to go for the most, any, the most random option, NRG drink. What's this going to do? Wait, what did that do? What did I just do? Okay, that just made him so fast it can bend metal with just the tip of his fingers. Wait, if he can bend metal just by touching it, shouldn't that basically break his spine or something? Or with the donuts, shouldn't it like basically destroy his teeth? I don't know, they don't even physics. Wait, what's that? Did he just die? Fail. NRG drink. NRG. Side effects may include nausea, headaches, rapid heart rate, impossibilities of heat, of I mean, stroke, and or heart attack. Hmm, well that's good to know. Yeah, no kidding. Like, it just died. Okay, since that was a thing, let's go for any other thing. A file. Thinking that I'm the first floor window. <laughs> Pro tip, look before you leap. Uh, thanks for giving me a tip after I leap. Okay then, let's do the file again. Well, with the cell door this time. Tap! There, die. Another guy, another guy! Well, they just got hit. You just hit them with a stun gun. Yeah. Hey, he's escaping. How do you know that? Wars coming soon. Well, obviously, I go with the coolest way belt of the grenades, obviously. Go check yourself. Oh. What the? <laughs> hmm. I don't even know how what to say about that one. Yeah, me too. Okay, chair this time. Okay, naturally I'll go left. <laughs> Fatty. Hey, why are you blaming me? I'm not fat. To, to come to think of it, all of us are sticks. Okay, one has a taser, one has a shotgun, and another just got a belly flop on him, and the other just has his gun. Okay, then, why do they have that in a meeting? Okay, this time let's go to the right. Okay, there's like 10 stories. Naturally, I'll go with the parachute. Yeah, that's what I'll do. But that should give you so much whiplash that could break your neck. Oh, wait, that's not even a parachute. Never mind. Ow, 
we just got a frying pan and a bowling ball in on his face. I think that was a regular backpack. Seems what when you ex you assume. No kidding. Okay, then jack pack. What? Okay then, how do you use jetpack? And why am I in the same cell? It takes hour, many hours of jetpack training before you, you're able to operate one. Also, if you want to see what that said there, go back and pause on that. I can't, I just need to do it when I try to see the video. And anyway, let's just go with the rope. Or harpoon, which looks like it. Ouch. At least he didn't die. Yay, you're free. Oh, wait, no. How does that seem familiar? I haven't played the first game. Because I know that there's an order, but how am I supposed to know? But I don't know how that's familiar at all. Okay, then let's just go with the most random one, plungers. Because that will work, obviously. Wait, it's actually working? Okay then, yay, I win. Okay, let's do with the other endings. Okay then, the teleporter. Okay, then we're out from free. Wait, what? Well, we were in a shooting range. Ouch. You just can't seem to get a hang of that can't thing, can you? I don't know what you mean by that at all. Okay, then. Teleport is out of the question. Okay, then. Let's blow it up. Let's blow, let's blow this up so we can get out of here. Wait, how did the, how did the rocket get through it? And where did he, that come from? <laughs> wow, uh, way to aim, buddy. Yeah, I have to be really good at aiming that. Okay, so, okay, it's cell phone. Family, friends, coworkers, authorities. Who's gonna, who's gonna call? September 9th, chosen to... What's this gonna be? Witness, please continue your testimony. Okay. I was riding alongside my partner in the armored man. Suddenly, spotted a bag on the side of the road. Got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. Objection! Oh wait, this so, is a Phoenix Wright. Oh in man, the hair the and everything. Is that yeah, it's a Phoenix Wright. Is, is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. Okay then, what evidence should we use? What's this? Floor plans to bank. A diagram of the bank and its surroundings. I don't think that'll work. A shovel. Type weapon. How is that found near near the bank? Bears fingerprints of the defendant. I don't see how that will help. Mysterious device. A teleporter. Device. You, you, doctor's analysis. Type letter. Exam for defendant. Security footage. Security footage of the night. Okay, I'll see that. We'll do it. That will do it to see that I didn't hit, hide in it. It's evidence. And how exactly does this prove anything? Well, I... I was just kidding. Let me try. This is no time for jokes. I see no reason to further prolong this trial. Man. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. Man, I'm guilty. What kind of third-rate lawyer did you hire? Phoenix Wright is not a third-rate lawyer. Okay, then, um... Disguise bag. Other oh, father in the The bag that the defendant hid in in order to seek into the bank. The knot is tied on the outside of the bag. Smart. If I hid, if I hid in it, which I don't know why I did, that will mean that how can I tie the knot on the outside? So this should do it. Is is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes, but there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then how did he tie the knot from the outside of the bag? Oh. If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. Of course. But then, how did he do it? 
It's simple. He didn't. How do you know that? What are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding in that bag at all. He was stuffed in there. By this very witness! Doubt it! As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious. This is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. Oh, that the makes sense. The, that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from the tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. Okay. Haunting now. You guys can't, you can't, this, this, this can't be happening to me! Yeah, so it's not like a little baby. Well, that certainly was an interesting trial. However, mm -hmm. I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. Yes, I'm not guilty, yes. Okay then, then I'm out of prison now. Hmm. Yes. Wait. Oh, he's gonna rob my banks now. Man. Okay, then one more thing. The drill. Okay then. A op op opposicular okay, whatever that is or a crowbar. This thing. Just move the blue slider to the right, and you'll become as unquine, that means C3 for all you want to educate folks, as you want. Not only that, but you more unquine you get, the easier will be to go through pass through solid objects. You walk through walls. Gadget go gadget game. Well it's certainly getting it down to all these floors. Then there but there well is that bloody knife. Oh, wait, no, I'm falling down to the earth. You think something like that will come up in the beta testing? I guess. Okay, then, crowbar. Uh, okay, that wasn't random at all. I don't know. Go up. Okay, I just got shot instead. Try dodging the bullets, noob. Hey. Hey, I'm not Neo. Okay, try going up this time. Ouch. Don't worry, I hear prison dentists are great. Thanks. Go down. Okay then. Wait, shouldn't that guy with the glasses just kill him already? Oh, I go to the left. Ouch. Lol, blow, brawl reference. I don't get that reference at all to brawl. I have to do all this again. Okay, go down. Let's go up. Wait, how is that gonna do anything? Whoa, Matrix this. The good thing they don't know the Matrix. Wait, wait. A guy with a gun. Oh no, what? get ready for what? Tap, I guess, I guess tap. Okay then, okay then, okay then, okay then tap. Matrix this. I matrix that. How did I grab the bullet and do that? <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that was just awesome. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this, and I hope you enjoy. And I'll try to play the other sequels, Stealing the Diamond and Infiltrating the Airship, another time. But thank you, guys, for this. And I hope that you guys can get a better day and that you like watching this. And wait, what does that say on the end of escaping? Ten, three, something... Seven? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. But anyway. And I'll...
I'd like to give thanks to all of these people that made it, like programming, designing, animation, voices by Puffballs United, in in creation with Stick Page. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next video.